We're doing beautiful toxin. She's very, very pretty. We just want to relax her wrinkles just a little bit. Go ahead and frown for us. Come in really close. So, you know, beautiful toxin is really not that easy. Some people think like, you know, do a quick little Botox. It's a little more involved than you might think. So do you see, I, I think she's a really good example. You see her corrugators? You see how they sit? This is very defined. So the, this is the head of her corrugator. So you want to make sure, what I like to do is pinch and I go straight into the corrugator. And then I give it a little bit of units. That way I can really catch that. You see how this, she really pulls down. Corrugators are pull down muscles. So when you relax this, this helps move. Remember, this is opposite medicine. So go ahead and frown for us one more time. So we'll get the head, put a few units in there. And she, the other thing that happens is she pulls down her procerus. Go ahead and draw down really tight. This procerus, this muscle causes this wrinkle, this horizontal wrinkle. So you gotta get that as well. So you'll put a bit of that in there and then go ahead and frown one more time. You see the tail end of the corrugator? You wanna go ahead and frown like you're really angry. You wanna make sure that you, this is where it inserts in the skin. So you just wanna make sure you give a tiny bit of dollop there. That way this doesn't pull together because if you just get the head, this still draws together. So you wanna make sure you get both and go ahead and frown like you're really angry. And we'll just get, you see where it dimples? That's the best place to get it, just very superficially. And then go ahead and tighten up our eyes tighten tighten you see these spokes right here this is where you're gonna get the best lateral brow lift go ahead and relax it and so you just march it along now I've seen some people put their full length of their needle in. you can do that but sometimes you run the risk of having a little bit more bruising so I like to spread my injections out a bit go ahead and look up I like to go all the way across. Go ahead and smile like you're really happy. You see how she gets these little bit baby lines? Mm -hmm. The other thing that will be nice is if I put a little tiny drop here, Asian eyes tend to get a little smaller. So if I put that, that'll help open up her eyes a little bit. So just right in there, good job. Such a good patient. And just a tiny bit, of, there we go. Just all the way through. And that'll just help the skin look really pretty. And then when she draws, she doesn't draw that line all the way through. Go ahead and lift up your forehead like surprise. We're gonna catch that frontalis. Remember your frontalis is the only elevator of your face. So if you knock this out completely, you start to look very caveman. So we wanna make sure she still mm. has a good, yeah, we don't like that Bad idea. We wanna make sure she has enough lift because her, remember the frontalis is your only true lifter. So remember in the middle, those are all your pull down muscles, your corrugators and your procerus. A, even this, what we call a sphincter muscle, think where else you have a sphincter, these are all pull down muscles. Your frontalis is your only elevator of your brow. So you wanna make sure you don't knock that out completely. So I have them lift, lift up like surprise, all the way up, surprise. There we go, you see where she is? If I put my finger and I kind of see where that convergence happens and where best, how, what the lowest place I can place her toxin in, then that'll help me not give her a brow droop, which will be you'll really appreciate, right? Oh my God. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and place this all the way through. One of the little pearls I wanna share also is that before I used to do really high up, and I still do, but you've gotta really watch that scalp because what wow. happens is if you immobilize this, these wrinkles get worse. So it's all about that little bit of balance and making sure you're really understanding and watching that placement to make it really a beautiful toxin treatment. And then we'll get those bunnies. Go ahead and show me your bunnies. There we go. You see how she, that, this is called a nasalis. We wanna catch all of that because what happens is when you relax the rest, your face wants to move. So it might recruit these muscles a little bit more. So we'll get to that as well. We'll go all the way in. We'll go all the way in. Beautiful, good job. Wonderful. The other place I like to get is her masseters. So she was asking like, what's happening? Am I widening here? So she grinds at night. So when you grind at night, you really start to build. It's like building, you know, really making that muscle big. So it makes us a little bulkier. bulkier. So we want to inject those muscles. So I'm going to have you bite down all the way. And I kind of trap it between my fingers and I, it's a diamond shape. So I want to make sure that I get the fullness of the muscle. We want to go all the way down close to bone and make sure we thread all the way up because I want to get the whole bit of that master, not just portions of it. 
go ahead and bite all the way down. Really great, good job. And you see how I'm pulling up? I go all the way down and I thread all the way up. You don't wanna to go too past because you don't wanna get the rhizorius. So you wanna make sure that you do it absolutely correctly. She'll notice the difference in about six weeks. She'll notice she doesn't bite as hard and her face will start to slim. Sometimes you need two or more exposures to really get it slim. The interesting thing about doing masseters is that when you knock out the masseter, I can also reshape, they do this in Asia all the time, I can mm. reshape the bone. So when I don't have so much, when you don't have so much pull on that muscle, that helps not build that bone so much so you can slim up a little bit on the bottom half, it's really nice.